They're packaged all white, all red, or all green. Cut them with ordinary household scissors and insert into a snowball as a hanger, as we do here. Or join two units, such as this fawn and a star. Or bend it into staple form to fasten tinsel garlanding, festooning, or bead strings. Or the more recent metallic mesh, which may be used pleated, ruffled, or in flat strips. Sequins and beads, and even buttons from a treasured collection, or brilliants, are fastened with ordinary straight pins, while bits of braid, rickrack, or ribbon, too, are pinned on. Here are Tough Light's punch-out sequins, in three colors with a reverse of silver, and there are two designs to an envelope. Slide out the metallic sheet, and press out the sequins. With pencil or crayon, Draw, stencil, or trace designs. Follow with the adhesive pen and sprinkle with glitter, which will adhere to only the cemented lines. Of course, we include snowballs on our very first thoughts of Christmas decorations. Use them singly, in groups, in their own frosty white or decorated. Here is a three inch snowball. Cut chenille wire and insert the hanger. Now sketch lines with a pencil and apply the quick drying adhesive pen. There, it's ready for glitter. Let's choose green. Notice it adheres to only the cemented lines. Catch the remainder on paper and funnel it back to the jar for future use. Now press out the sequins. How lovely this is against the white. But just now, select the locations for the sequins Press the pin through the sequin and into the ball. See the result and with a minimum of time, effort, and material. The pastel snowballs are new additions, a leftover piece of lovely braid and some scattered brilliance from your sewing box will enhance the blue. Create conversation pieces and varied texture with corsage pins, felt cutouts, sequins in upright position. At a White House Christmas party, a clever guest presented our First Lady with a beautifully ornamented tough light snowball, which she herself had decorated. Delighted comments about it reached many alert ears and predicted a new gift fashion. Sketch around a thimble, a cookie cutter, a jar top, or freehand on this wreath. Follow with adhesive all lines that are to be the same color and sprinkle with, let's use red glitter. Then save the remainder, and again, use the adhesive on all lines to be silvered. Then sprinkle silver glitter. Pin the sequins on last. And would you like to add a ribbon band? Now hang it at a window or on the wall or on a door. Graceful gold bead spikes cross to form a background for a little fawn dressed in matching color. A gold outline, a flat bell at the top, and the crisp look of holly. Staple on some tinsel and add a silver grape spray. On another, lattice and staple strips of tinsel across the back. A simple sequin and glitter design. Festooning in a snowman while two large and two small wreaths join to make a centerpiece more hanging. Well, the little fawn seems suddenly camera shy. How the tinsel and sequins lend highlight. You alone will determine the personalities of the stars of the show through your choice of trimming. Cuts from the lovely skeleton sheet to glamorize each of the five points, a silver spray in the center, or a lovely outline of tinsel garland and a silver spray, or bright sequins and glitter. They all contribute to the festive look. Flat, they become candle holders, while ribbon roses and a Madonna find here a perfect setting. Small flat trees and larger ones find so many uses. The very largest has a standard Staple a string of beads around it and a boutonniere at the base. Let it become the focal point of a centerpiece, as we've done with the one here. 
beautiful unadorned, the round tree invites your imagination to a loop chenille or glow-in-the-dark icicles and coin dot sequins to suggest a very modern theme. And of course, ruffled metallic mesh is as usual, dainty and graceful in any of its many colors. You'll enjoy our new triple tree, and it's easy to assemble. Study the three parts, slip two units into place, and then the third, which is the one with a pointed top. It's of a size which makes it complete in itself, but decorate it as you wish. Surround it with miniatures or tiny packages. How about one of our gay Santas? Or dip white chenille wires in red glitter to represent candles and drape with tinsel garlands. Sequins and ribbon encircle each base with color. Yes, we think our triple tree has definite appeal. I'm glad we chose our three carolers, how happily they convey a Christmas message. So too will our miniature cutouts. They're packaged in groups of 10, and they suggest endless uses. Add foliage to the reindeer and snowman centerpiece, then spray it lightly with canned snow. The cutouts are new and smart for gift tie-ons, and junior groups too will welcome them for holiday projects. Paired, they can become unusual place markers for your holiday guests. It would be difficult indeed to choose a favorite here. The tiny train is fashioned of leftover squares, cluster snowball wheels, and the headlight and windows suggested by sequins. While a tiny snowman takes an informal view of the passing scene. A 9 by 12 base forms the bottom of a wagon. Cane handles form the rails which guard the cargo of tiny gifts and lollipops, while a very competent looking driver directs the way down a lovely snowy path. This would be a good way of displaying your Christmas cards, too. Here Santa guides his sleigh and reindeer through the branches and into the sky, high above a sleeping village while two ceramic misses alight from our red sleigh, drawn by two fawns. At the fireplace, cut cane logs, mantle miniatures, and the round tree had their usual high value. Snowmen accept the hospitality of our little pink cottage, which spells welcome in the curl of cluster ball smoke. Glow-in-the-dark icicles form the fence, but an evergreen hedge would give equal results. Sequin strips banding a disc and wreath and four fawns make a convincing carousel. Bead spikes form the poles and canopy. But try small styrofoam canes or candy sticks if you prefer. Placing it on a lazy Susan bedecked with holly would indeed complete the thought, for it could then revolve. Base blocks are almost indispensable. Offered in many sized discs, squares and rectangles, they are planned for many needs. Free form them by following a pattern with a crayon or soft pencil. These are highly regarded for group work since completely individual base outlines result. They may be cut with a sharp knife or saw edge blade. You see, we have no actual loss of width or length of the original, but the curved outlines offer pleasant variation. On this free form, we build a Christmas theme on the lovely natural white, retaining simplicity of color and design. While here, the same free form has been given an application of shoe dye for year-round decor. Returning to the white, we note a single bell at the tip of pink driftwood and frosted spikes. While the dark base takes straw, a lovely shell, and even fresh vines and aqua picks may be added or replaced at will. Gold ribbon around a disc presents a Chinese garden. It holds the heavy driftwood as firmly in place as the diminutive figures and fence which surround it. How many of your friends will acclaim your talent if you plan your gift list to include many of these? 
palm space and wheat and a wide choice of dry materials in tints and shades of brown complete a monochroic scheme on a free form painted a soft sandalwood which suggests sunshine and soft winds. On a similar base painted green we let the contrast of bright dried blossoms and rich tropical leaves some rolled and pinned into place at one side give a new importance to a colorful ceramic at the other. Outdoors the same quality responsible for its success as industrial insulation and marine flotation gives our novelties their weather stamina. Jolly Santa says hello. To a cane we add tinsel, a bell, and a bow, or bead spikes, a boutonniere, and a large pine cone. Swirled with festooning, a huge red bow, and our tough light mittens. Another cane joins a wreath and a jolly snowman for a combination of three old favorites. Ideas for wreaths are almost boundless. Join three and trim as one, or simply add tinsel, or let canned snow fuse green plastic straws and pine cones into a winter bouquet. Another, cluster snowballs top crystal plastic straws. Completely covered with silver leaves and tree ornaments, this wreath requests a sheltered entrance. But again, for outdoor area, a gay bow and decorated balls and a bell. Our wave to a passing neighbor brings her to our kitchen for the scene of further holiday preparation. There are so many church and club bazaars, she explains, and so few new ideas. This may very well be the answer. She has brought some lovely evergreen and has an ample supply. We show her how to cut it to desirable lengths and force it into the styrofoam base. And we select several of these and arrange them for balance. And now we'll spray it lightly with snow. She observes too, the two short chenille wires give Santa a firm foothold. A generous cluster of snowballs does its usual good work. It's just what we're looking for, she assures us, and eager to phone her committee and get started, she takes her leave, pleased with a green free form that we send along. The evergreen is so effective, I think we shall add it to some centerpieces already made. It will give pleasant emphasis to the simplicity that the small base, reindeer, and wreath have achieved. We think it seems just right for the drop leaf table in the breakfast room. And it is. The soft blue and chartreuse, punctuated with silver, is pleasing against the geometric charm of Venetian blinds. And in the living room, we test several for effect. We like the one already on the TV, but our final choice is the crash, with simple outlines of glitter and sequin stars, the ceramic figures, and an angel and cross from our cutouts. A larger base could include the complete nativity scene. At the coffee table, we check and approve a centerpiece which is to be a gift for a friend. The 12 by 24 tough light base and its sleigh and eight prancing deer with their reins of glass bead strings is persuaded to depart from the traditional color theme to accents of fuchsia and bright blue. It is replaced by a sphere of crossed wreaths and grape sprays and we find that the sleigh is perfect to display the greeting cards that are such an important contact of the season. And then, almost before we know it, it will be Christmas Eve and friends will be stopping in. Glistening white proves a perfect complement to sparkling windows. Wreaths alone may be used, or elaborate if you wish on this time-honored custom by adding small tough light cutouts to reflect the mood within. With a white thumbtack, secure triple folded scotch tape to a star, a reindeer, snowflake, or any other choice. Then press it firmly to the window surface. 
A fireplace is always a natural gathering spot for conversation and song, but especially so at Christmas, so of course it's given special attention. On one side of the mantel, the lantern has been used instead as a niche for a lovely Madonna above a half disc planted with evergreen. While bead spikes and cluster snowballs surround a holly trimmed church and two red costume figurines. On the coffee table, glittered branches and a resplendent reindeer rise from a ground of white poinsettias. Later in the evening, the guests will select from a buffet table. Ah, good. With such fine assistance from the teenagers, nothing will be overlooked as we check last minute details. Let's see, the centerpiece is complete and it gives the altar its full importance as a picture of faith and rejoicing. On the television set, six candle choir boys leave our tiny church to sing their carols in the stillness of the night. While above, a sparkling wreath on the wall gives balance to the overall panel effect. On the tree, styrofoam intermingles with the flashing jewel tones of glass tree ornaments. So dear to us all, this symbol of Christmas tide gives its greatest thrill to the young fry, now safely tucked in bed for happy dreams of the morrow. Uh oh, don't be too sure of that, for down the stairs he comes to get that long awaited first glimpse of his tree. Oh, what's this? A shining red bicycle. We of Tough Light join him in wishing everyone a Merry Christmas. Mm -hmm.